In this lesson, we're going to learn how to calculate the mean, median, mode, range, and outliers of a data set. So first of all, I'm just going to review with you what each of these terms is. So the mean is like the average. Okay, so um, average. And to find the average of a number, you basically add all the numbers. So I'm going to write add the numbers. And then divide by the number of numbers. So add the numbers and divide by the number of numbers. For to find the median, okay, the median is the middle number. Okay, so what you're going to do to find the median is you're going to put the numbers in order. And then find the, find the middle. And I'm, I'll do some examples of this in a little bit here. Okay, mode. Mode is the most common number. Okay, so you just find the number that occurs the most often, and that's the mode. <clears throat> um, and then the range is um, the difference between the highest and lowest numbers. Okay, and then finally the outliers, the outliers are the numbers um, that don't belong. So, like, it would be numbers that are way higher or lower than all the rest of the numbers. So let's take a look at some examples. Alright, so if you take a look at this data set at the top, um, we have 24, 12, 15, 17, 12, 2, and 20. So to find the mean, what we're going to have to do is add all these numbers up. So we're going to do 24 plus 12 plus 15 plus 17 plus 12 plus 2 plus 20. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that on my calculator right now. 24 plus 12 plus 15 plus 17 plus 12 plus, um, oops, I messed up. So sorry, let me do that again. 24 plus 12 plus 15 plus 17 plus 12 plus 2 plus 20. And I got 102. And I'm going to double check that real quick. I think when using a calculator, it's really always good to double check your calculations and make sure that you come up with the same answer two times. So I got 102 again, so that checks out. So now what we have to do is we have to divide by the number of numbers. Okay, so I'm going to count the numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 numbers. So we're going to take 102, and we're going to divide by 7 because that's how m many we had. And I got 14.6 is what that would round to. So the answer is 14.6. Okay, so now let's take a look at another example. So, or excuse me, not another example, but let's find the median. So the median is the middle number. To do that, we're going to put the numbers in order from least to greatest. So I'm going to start with the smallest number, 2, and cross it out as I go. The next smallest number I see is 12, and we have two of those. Then I see 15, 17, 20 and 24. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cross them out from least to greatest until we have the middle. So least greatest, least greatest, least greatest, and now you can see the middle number is 15. So our median, our middle number is 15. All right, the mode. The mode is the number that occurs the most. Okay, so if you look at this data set, we have 1, 2, two 12s, 115, 117, 120, and 124. So since we have two 12s, 12 is the mode. All right, the range. The range is um, the difference between the highest and lowest number. So you're going to take your highest number, 24, and you're going to subtract your lowest number, 2, and that gives you a range of 22. 
each box these off. And then finally the outliers. Outliers are numbers that are way bigger or smaller than the other numbers. So in this data set, um, you, if you look at 2, 2 is like 11 away from 12. Where over here, 24 is only 4 away from 20. So if we were going to say we had an outlier, I would say 2 is my outlier. Um, although it's not a drastic outlier for sure, but it definitely is a little bit you know, outside of the range of these other numbers. All right, let's go. Okay, so let's look at this one. So we have 5, 9, 7, 7, 9, and 6. So to find the mean, the first thing we have to do is add up all the numbers. So 5 plus 9 plus 7 plus 7 plus 9 plus 6. And when we add these numbers up, we get 9 plus 5 is 14, plus 7 is 21, plus 7 is 28, plus 9 is 37, plus 6 is 43. Let's just double check our calculation there. 5 plus 9 plus 7 plus 7 plus 9 plus 6 gives us 43 total. So now we need to count up how many numbers we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we're going to divide this number by 6. So 43 divided by 6 gives us an answer of 7.16 repeating. And if we round that, that would be 7.2 for our mean. All right, median. All right, so now to find the median, you put the numbers in order from least to greatest. So 5 is the smallest, then 6, then 7, 7, and 9, 9. Okay, and now we're going to cross off smallest to biggest until we get to the middle. Smallest, biggest, smallest, biggest. And look, we have two numbers in the middle. So our median is the number that would fall right in between there. Since these are both 7s, the median is going to be 7. If they were not both 7s, let's say it was like a 6 and an 8, we would do 6 plus 8 and get 14 and divide by 2, the median would be 7. If it was a 6 and a 7 in the middle, we would add those together and get 13 and divide by 2 and we'd get 6.5 as our median. So what you do is you take those two middle numbers and you average them. All right, mode. Mode is the most common number. In this data set, we have 7 occurs more than once and 9 occurs more than once. So both of those are modes. All right, to find the range, we're going to do the biggest minus the smallest. So 9 is the biggest, minus 5 is the smallest, and that gives us a range of 4. And then finally, to find the outliers, it would be any numbers that are way bigger or smaller than the rest of the numbers. See, the smallest number is 5, and your biggest number is 9, and neither of them are really far away from the data set, the other numbers in the data set. So I would say that there are no outliers in this data set. One more set of, it, of examples here. So mean, okay? So again, the first thing we're going to do is take these numbers and add them up. So 123 plus 118 plus 91. Oops, let's see here. Okay, so sorry, plus 91, plus 132, plus 120, plus 116, plus 98, plus 32. Okay, so 123, plus 118, plus 91, plus 132, plus 120, plus 116, plus 98, plus 36. And when you do that, you get a total, oops, I'm sorry, you get a total of 834. Okay, so now we have to do that total, 834, and we're going to divide by the number of numbers. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 numbers. So we're going to divide by 8. And I got 104.25 so that would round, if we were going to round, that would round to approximately 104.3. Okay, so now to find our median. Median, remember, is the middle number. So we're going to put the numbers in order from least to greatest. So we have 91, then 98. Oh, 
oh, you know what? I missed 32 here, so 32 is first. Um, after 98, I see 116, 118, 120, 123, and 132. All right, so now we're going to cross these off from least to greatest till we get to the middle. So smallest, biggest, smallest, biggest, smallest, biggest. Notice you have two numbers in the middle, okay? So what we're going to do is, is find the number that's right in between those two numbers. So in this case, 116 and 117, you might just recognize, excuse me, 116 and 118, you might just recognize that 117 is in the middle. If you don't, what you could have done is you could do 116 plus 118, 116 plus 118, and when you do that you get 234, and then you would divide it by 2. You're basically taking the average of those two numbers, and when you do that you'll get 117. So that is your median. All right, the mode in this case um, let's go through and see if we have any numbers that occur more than once. So 32, 91, 98, 116, 118, 120, 123, and 132. So there is no mode in this case because there's not a number that occurs more than the others. Range is the biggest minus the smallest. So we got 132 minus 32, and that gives us a range of 100. And then finally, the outliers would be a number that's way bigger or smaller than the rest. So if you look at this, 91 minus 32, that's a difference of 59. Up here, 32 and 23, th those are only like 9 away. So you could say that 32 is quite a bit smaller than the others, so that could probably be considered an outlier. So those are some examples of how to calculate mean, median, mode, range, and outliers.